I'm going to show you how to cheat and make your knives appear sharper than they actually are. Tom here at Sharpening Supplies, and you've probably seen clips of people using this little machine to test the sharpness of their edges. You cut this little wire and you get a score that shows you how sharp your knife is. The lower the score, the sharper the knife. Now, we've noticed some people getting absolutely ridiculous scores, and that's because they've been cheating. So if you wanna understand how they're cheating, or you wanna gain some internet clout for yourself and cheat, we're gonna show you exactly what's going on. First, we need to understand what sharpness actually is. So the ultimate test of sharpness is whether or not a tool can perform its job well. Does your straight razor give you a smooth shave? Can your kitchen knife cleanly slice through a tomato? Does your chisel leave a smooth finish on the wood? Now, that's a good explanation of what sharpness does, but if you wanna start measuring sharpness, you need to define it in a few different ways. So the first way that we can do that is through geometry. And it comes down to two things, how pointy an edge is and how narrow it is. So an edge never comes to a perfect point. Zoom in enough and you'll see that the edge actually has a radius. The smaller the radius, the sharper the edge. The other factor, how narrow the edge is, refers to how much thickness there is behind the edge. Since you have to push a tool through a material in order to cut it, a thicker edge is gonna be more difficult than one that's thinner. Now, that all makes sense, but those two measurements are kind of difficult to measure. But how difficult it is to push an edge through a material, that gives us a relatively easy thing to measure to gauge sharpness. It's a lot easier to measure how much force it requires to cut something than to try and measure edge radius and angles. It's a much more convenient way to test sharpness than having to dice up tomatoes every time you sharpen your knives. If used properly, the Edge On Up is a great tool for understanding edges, improving your sharpening, and measuring the resiliency of an edge, if used properly. To use the Edge On Up, you put your knife perpendicular to the test media, and you slowly lower it at a rate where you can read the numbers on the screen as they increase. Eventually, you'll cut through the wire, and your score in grams will be kept on the screen. By measuring in grams how much force it takes to cut this wire, the Edge On Up gives you a quantifiable result for the sharpness of your edge. That means you can measure the sharpness of one edge over time, or, and this is why it's popular on the internet, you can compare one edge to another. But this is the internet. Ain't nobody got time for that. So this is how you cheat. Getting an Instagram worthy score is really easy. Just set up the machine exactly as before and then plow through that wire as fast as you can. As quick as a hot knife through butter or as fast as a blunt knife through a highly calibrated test media. Done quick enough, you can get an edge that in the real world is actually kind of blunt to score lower than an actual razor blade. You won't have a knife that cuts particularly well but you will have the respect of strangers on the internet. You can thank me later when you upload your new score and the internet points start rolling in. So this industrial model takes 25 measurements per second. So in the time that it took me to tell you that, it took about 100 measurements. But if you blow through that wire in a fraction of a second, it's just not long enough for it to take an accurate reading. If you don't follow the input properly, then the output is meaningless. So that's one way to cheat, but if you're ready to start taking accurate measurements with the Edge On Up, I'll leave a link in the description for you to get one of these. If you've already got an Edge On Up and you're taking accurate measurements, I'd love to hear what your lowest scores are. Let us know in the comments below and what tool it was that you tested. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a like, and if you enjoy watching sharpening content, subscribe to the channel for more.